Good morning. It is 8.30 a.m. on Wednesday, the 16th of September, 2020. I'm Bart Everson, and it's my pleasure to share with you a guided meditation sponsored by the Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Faculty Development at Xavier University of Louisiana. This meditation will be dedicated to Mother Earth and to the Ten Twigs. The Ten Twigs at your fingers and your thumbs. So, if you haven't already, please find a comfortable position. Sitting or standing if you like. Sitting comfortably, but also um, in a fashion that such that you're alert, with uh, usually with an erect spine is what's recommended. If you're sitting in a chair, maybe with your feet flat on the ground. If you're sitting on a cushion, with your legs in lotus position, half lotus, whatever is comfortable for you. And the purpose of this meditation is really to use the fingers of our hands to kind of activate and release some emotions that we might uh, kind of classify under the heading of negative emotions. This actually comes from the Japanese practice of Jin Shin, but as, uh, as adapted by a friend and colleague, I'll share that link when I publish the video recording of this. But let's begin first with a few deep breaths, just to settle, help us settle into place. So breathing in deeply, filling your lungs up to the maximum capacity, and then breathing out slowly through the mouth, trying to make that exhale even a little bit longer than the inhale. Just three or four deep breaths together. And when you're ready, you can let your breath return to its normal rhythm. And just notice how it is, what it's like to sit here in this moment, the here and now. As I mentioned, we're going to use our hands for this meditation, the fingers of each hand, and we use the left hand to represent uh, the self, the small self, you, and all the things that make up you. We use the right hand to represent the bigger self, the greater self, if you will, the institution, of which we're a part, the society, the nation, the world, including all the ecological components, the interconnected webs that make up this living planet, which we might call Gaia or Mother Earth. And we'll start with the thumb then. So start with the thumb of the left hand, and this thumb we we'll use for to think about fear and, and worry. So take your left thumb in hand and channel your worries. You know, we're constantly worrying about something, mistakes that we made yesterday, 
things that are coming up tomorrow, rather than being focused on what we're doing right now. Think about the worries you're dealing with. Fear of not making ends meet, fear that your work is not useful, fear that you're unloved, perhaps, and so on. And let these fears go. You can take your right thumb in hand. We also worry about the earth. So let those worries go. Worries that Mother Earth is dying. That the fires and the, the hurricanes are coming. Or that they're here to stay. Worries that millions of people and animals are going to die. That we're acting too late. Or that it's too late to act at all. Whatever worries you have, let them go. We use the pointer finger and take the taking the left pointer finger in hand to represent expectations. Too often we obsess over unrealistic expectations of ourselves. I know that things are bad and I should fight harder. I should do more. Maybe I should make more of a sacrifice. What I'm giving up is not enough. So with your left pointer finger, inhaling and exhaling, breathing with these feelings and let go of these expectations. Then taking our right pointer finger in hand, you know, we also expect much of others. So let go to the expectations that you have for your family, your co-workers, your friends. Just embrace them as they are, and about people in general. Politicians. society as a whole? Why do we put profit over people, over the planet? We have all these expectations that people should do right. Let those go. And our expectations from Mother Earth as well, that she will continue to provide stability, a foundation for civilization, Kaya is under stress now. We see that daily, so let go of any expectation for a calm journey into the future. Now with the middle finger on your left hand, Maybe it's no surprise the middle finger, at least in our culture, is associated with anger. So hold your left middle finger and let go of any anger you may be feeling towards yourself for not being strong enough, not being disciplined enough, not being calm enough, not being happy enough. Whatever traits about yourself that upset you for not being caring enough, kind enough, giving enough. Let all that go. And taking your right middle finger in hand, let go all of your anger towards others, your family for not being helpful enough, for not anticipating your needs, for being too attentive, whatever it is that bothers you. And especially let go of the anger you feel towards those who've exploited and continue to exploit others in Mother Earth. There's a time to be angry. There's a time to let righteous rage kindle us to action for justice. But right now, see if you can let that anger go. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
a coat of anger. Taking the ring finger in hand, the left ring finger, for grief. Grief is an emotion perhaps we could hold for this entire meditation. Breathe in the grief for loved ones lost, for life changes that were hard on you, for regrets that you can't let go of. And breathe out, letting go. And with your right hand, ring finger, breathe in all the grief for the damage to Mother Earth, for lost cultures and peoples, lost habitats, lost species gone extinct, never again to roam the planet or play their roles in the great web of relationships. Breathe these in, breathe them out, and let go. We come to the little finger, the little finger of the left hand, for pretense. We have so many pretensions. When we live untrue to ourselves, especially to fit in, buying certain things, going certain places, maybe eating certain foods, even if we don't enjoy them, participating in certain activities, feel the conflict of who you are and who you pretend to be, and let it go. Can address it at another time. For now, let go of your pretenses. And with your right finger, your right little finger, take that in hand and let go of the idea that you are separate from the earth. That we can follow society's rules even when they conflict with science and with the rules of Mother Earth. And let go of the idea that our current form of helping is actually helping. We do things to try to help it. Do they really? Let go of that pretense. Breathe in, breathe out, and let it go. And finally, Put the fingers of your right hand into your left palm. Harmonize yourself with your whole self. Recognize that your body, comprised of your cells, even viruses, bacteria, fungi, it's a community of life coexisting. Sometimes it strays into ill health. Sometimes an element comes out of balance. It's not out of malicious intent, but it strives to survive and thrive. It over-prioritizes its own benefit at the harm of the, of the collective self. Inhale and exhale harmonizing your body, mind, and breath. And with your right palm, take the fingers of your left hand into your right palm and harmonize with your larger self, the whole world, Mother Earth, Gaia. Let go of the idea that you are separate from Mother Earth. We, too, have become out of balance, like a virus or bacteria preoccupied with our own growth and reproduction. 
to the point that we cannot fathom what we're doing to our host. We don't do this maliciously. It's just that we think mostly of ourselves. But we extend our understanding that the self includes all of humanity, all of life, all of Mother Earth. That shift, that harmonization, opens us up to true healing. So, let's take a few last deep breaths together. Flex your fingers. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out. And I want to end with a note of gratitude to our ancestors, our teachers, and Mother Earth, without whom we wouldn't be here. Thank you for your attention, and have a great day.